if the New York City Marathon has inspired you to think about taking up the sport of running. Fitness expert Nadia Murdoch has some tips to make the experience a little more fun. Our Natasha Geigel laced up her running shoes to meet up with Nadia in this week's Ready, Set, Fit. Most of us know it's important to stretch before you run to prevent injury, but it's what you do after that helps prevent soreness. Mind Body Fitness coach Nadia Murdoch has some post-run stretching tips. We have resistance bands. First, I'm going to show you how to how to use this. Resistance bands are very inexpensive. You can throw them in your bag. You can have them with you at all times. You want to make sure the band is nice on the ball of your foot. Okay. And then you're going to lay back. And when you lay back, you're going to extend your leg up and release and we'll go out. You're gonna do that for five sets of 30 seconds. So the next move you're gonna do is a groin stretch. This is great for targeting the inner thigh area. You're also gonna lay back on the floor, make sure the band's on the ball of your foot. When you lay back, you're gonna open the leg out. Now don't hyperextend, you only go as far as you can and bring it back in. So this is a trigger point foam roller. These are great and they're super small so that you're able to throw them in a bag. You're going to target your quad and you're just going to move back and forth and you're going to really feel it. The ridges in the foam roller are going to target the muscles. Up next, some workout wear that'll keep you comfortable during your run. Long gone are the days where you just throw on a pair of sweats. You need to be prepared and there's so much functional fitness pieces. So this is Bandelix. They're $15.99. And what they do is they prevent chafing. What you do is you simply put this on underneath your track pants or running shorts and you slip it up to your thigh. So another thing that you want to consider is what you're wearing. So what I have on is compression pants with the weather getting cooler. All right, it's important to stay warm, keep the muscles warm and the blood flowing. So this is 2XU. They're more of an investment piece. So if you're looking to make running part of your regular thing, these are the ones. And then this is uh, Hottie Totties. It's $40 at Kohl's. It, it feels light, but it's very warm. And it's odor controlled and it wicks the sweat. You really have to consider what you're buying when you're training. And if you're taking it seriously, it's well worth the money spent. Now you have no excuse to skip your jog during the winter months. I'm Natasha Geigel and that's your Ready, Set, Fit.